Hello friends, welcome to Simple Makeatronics. Today's video is about first step for make at home project, small, handy, robot. The first step is making base frame for small robot. First select bio motor with gear box having 300 or 500 rpm. The shaft end of bio motor is flattened on both sides. The shape of hole in the wheel matches to bio motor's shaft end. The wheels are available in various thicknesses and diameters. Here, less width wheel is used in our project for compactness of robot. Rotate the wheel on motor shaft until it locks properly, then fix it with a small screw. The two holes on bio motor is useful for mounting it on a bracket. Select proper bracket with matching holes for mounting the bio motor. Select a chassis to hold all the components including motor with bracket. The holes on the chassis shall match the holes on the bracket for easy assembling. A caster wheel is required in our project and positioned suitably. Any one type of caster wheel may be selected for our project. Holes on chassis shall be matched to the holes on caster. The small robot uses hardware, control, and inputs, as shown here. The motor driver L293D is included along with hardware, which forms as the base frame for small robot. So, in part 1, base frame, motor driver circuit is fitted along with the hardware. For making base frame, the two bio motors are fitted to two brackets on a small chassis using proper screws and nuts. When positioned a wheel on motor shaft, a ground clearance is to be observed. Now, select a bracket for caster wheel and fix it with small screws. Now, position the bracket on free end of chassis, then, match the holes for fixing it. Then, check that all the wheels and caster are in same plane. This is the overall circuit diagram for small robot. The top part of the circuit is assembled on APCB and fitted above the chassis. The motors and battery are fitted below the chassis. On the main board of small robot. This is the motor driver IC. These are 5 volt regulator ICs for onboard and external power. These are bio motor connecting terminals and DC input socket. Now plan required holes for fixing the main board on chassis. Then assemble the caster bracket and provide screws for main board. Then fix the wheels on the motor shafts on either side. Then lock them using the small screws. Now, the top surface is horizontal. Use a good insulation sheet before fixing the main board on the chassis. Then place the main board carefully on the chassis and lock it using nuts. You may add more insulation if required. Connect motor wires to the motor terminals on main board. You may place a 7.4 volts lithium ion battery in between the two bio motors. Use double sided tape to hold the battery below the chassis. The caster bracket also supports the battery on one end. You may use a wire or nylon cable zip to hold other end of the battery. Now, the battery is firmly fixed in position. Now, connect the battery connected to the main board. You may observe the power LED indicator glowing. The 5 volts and other voltages are checked at 6 pin connector. These are the 4-bit codes used for motor rotation control available at 6-pin connector. 
Now test the direction of rotation of wheels by connecting 5 volts to each pin, 4 out of 6 pins in the connector. Note the rotation direction as per forward and reverse codes. Then reverse the motor connections if required. Then confirm the direction of rotation after updating the motor connections. Now, you may introduce a switch to control the battery power supply as shown in the circuit diagram. You may use necessary bracket to hold the switch in position. Cut positive wire connected to the battery. Then, solder the cut ends to the switch contacts. Now, connect the battery to the main board as earlier. The main board is provided with twin power supply option for BO motors. They are direct battery voltage or regulated 5 volts. You may use shorting jumper to select any one. Here the jumper is connected for 5 volts supply. This is the complete assembly of base frame for small robot. The 6 pins are labeled for easy identification. The various controls of small robot will be explained in future videos using keypad, joystick, remote, Bluetooth, IR, ultrasonic sensors and so on. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. More explanation and more videos are available at Simple Makeatronics website. Links for other projects are available at description below. Bye friends, see you in the next project.